We live in a world filled with constantly changing climates, environmental and social, a world where nothing seems to make sense, and yet if you studied history, and you'd recognize the pattern. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Janine Dabb. I'm a fine artist. Prior to this, I worked as a clown, Barney, a model, an esthetician, and a barber. In 2020, I graduated in fine arts and minored in art history from York College of Pennsylvania. After graduation, I did my first fellowship as the Appel Fellow here at Market View Arts, which is part of the Center for Community Engagement. In 20, er, I then applied to be the artist in residence of Market View Arts, where I spend most of my days working with the public and your college students, volunteering and making art while navigating this post-pandemic world as an immune-compromised individual in a world that seems to be struggling with beliefs in science and where nothing seems to make sense. My art is a direct response to my journey. I used to travel constantly before the pandemic. I think a majority of my current art comes from my desperate desire to be free to do those things with ease again, knowing that logically it's not easy for someone like me. Some days, I dream about my Danish grandfather, the hours I spent with him on the porch, watching him create large rings of cigar smoke, telling me all the stories about how fast life passes by and how quickly the tides can change, always remembering that we have no control over the speed and the current of the water and the wind that directs us. He was an avid sailor and an importer-exporter of grain in Denmark. He saved many people's lives during the Nazi occupation of Denmark. Stories of an empty tanker truck running on alternative grain fuel sources, and a famous Jewish piano man helped him escape the bar where they both were in. He always warned me, evil exists in plain sight sometimes. I'm sure my stubbornness comes from him. Also my love-hate relationship of Cuban cigars, that stale smell that permeates the air, and then sometimes always bring me back to him. He would come and spend months visiting, and I can still hear my mother ushering him outside the doors to smoke. He ultimately quit. He had a good life at 94 years. My recent abstract works all come from a strange place. In my brain, one that filled with distant memories and dream worlds that I believe I am sailing out into imaginary dreamscapes that are filled with exotic locations. Below deck sailing yacht has become one of my guilty pleasures during COVID lockdown. Different animals in their mix, linoleum block prints that get broken down and reconstructed again into playful pieces with brilliant colors. The deconstruction of the substrate and the continuous reconstruction is sort of a personal dare to myself, knowing that sometimes you take it too far and you'll be back in the exact location, but maybe that's okay. We sail on to the next port and dock there if necessary. My wish is to transport viewers to places that seem unfamiliar, but possibly distant and far. Birds chasing one another and repeating patterns in bold complementary colors tell their own stories and have their own songs. Sometimes it takes opposites to create perfect harmonies. My work tends to build off of previous thoughts and ideas. When I complete a piece, I think there's some sort of response I can have to that unwritten question. <clears throat> High tides came about from previous work. I did call chasing tides. This piece is searching for otherworldly places while in solitude, fearing rising water, that climate change will eventually lead to mass migration. You can only see these lonely contemplative figures in my paintings. These characters are all searching for answers to something. There are some progression shots of my work. It helps me help you have a better understanding how my pieces come together. Everything is a process and not always figured out beforehand. Most of my work is done intuitively. 
My piece, Chutes and Ladders, which recently won an honorable mention at the National Printmaking Show in Annapolis, juried by Helen Frederick, was inspired by watching the woods in my backyard and the leaves landing on the Susquehanna River in the fall. It's about the fact that sometimes we climb ladders, get close to the top, and sometimes we land on the slide and land right back where we started. Just like the game, life isn't always fair. <clears throat> It's about the fact, or sorry, <laughs> stories told between the colors and the found objects, personal and complex responses, and interactions with the people that occupy them all impact my work. The Dada-esque world we live in, stumble home and I can't breathe in here or out here, are just me feeling weird about everyone and everything. In in spite of the heavy world, I want to create works of sense of brightness and revitalization, excitement. There's even beauty in pool algae. I'm an avid swimmer and the pool, is, pool will do when I can't breathe in the salt water or the air of the ocean. Learning to stay afloat and ride the continual waves in response to the rising waters and situations is important. Ultimately, it's about keeping our heads above water. Even when the tides are higher than expected, tides are relatively predictable but like life, they're only predictions. 